What's up YouTube? My name is Ruff and today I'm going to teach you how to process your acoustic guitars to go from this to this. Cool, so the first plugin that we're gonna send these guitars to is the amp plugin. I'm just using the stock one from Ableton. It's made by Softube and they make a lot of great stuff like saturation knobs, so I really like this amp. I got it on the clean setting, which isn't gonna add a ton of distortion because that'll come in a bit. But we have the dry wet knob pretty low because again, we don't want a ton of distortion since these are acoustic guitars. So with the amp on, these sound like this. Turn it off. So it's just adding a bit of crispiness. Then we'll throw a saturation knob, cranked up, not a ton again, but just enough to give a little more warmth. Turn that off. Then OTT, to add a lot of crispiness on the highs. But where a lot of this dynamic crunch is gonna come from is from this SSL analog modeled compressor. So we got the threshold set to six decibels, the makeup gain taking down some of that. We got a pretty slow attack, pretty slow release, middle ratio with the analog knob on, that's gonna sound like this. Turn it off. So just controlling a lot of those dynamics with a glue compressor, gluing everything together to control those dynamics again. Then we bring in an analog model to SSL EQ to boost a lot of the highs. Dave Pensato acoustic guitar preset that I then tweaked. Then we'll do another EQ to take out some of those nasty frequencies. Then we'll open up a Soothe. Just taming a lot of these high frequencies that we previously boosted on a more surgical level. Then we'll boost the, the stereo image using mid-side EQ, just to give it a bit of a wider feel. Then we'll tame everything again in the highs to make room for the vocal. And then we just have some track spacer, that side chain to various elements in this re remix that I'm working on, just to give them some space. Then we have a, a reverb from Valhalla parallel set. Then we just have a utility and EQ doing some automation. So that's basically a typical processing chain I would put on an acoustic guitar to get it to stick out a bit more in the mix overall, but leave room for a vocal and just give a bit more dynamic presence without it peeking through so much and being the focal point of the track. This was a quicker video. Let me know if you, in the comments if you like the shorter video style better than the longer video style. But I'll see you next Wednesday. Peace.